welcome to the new fangled as you know i have made this channel to upload academic videos and technical hacks so currently you are watching a playlist on computer architecture and today i am going to deal with computer arithmetic basically we all know how to add subtract and multiply stuff but when it comes to a pc it is a bit hard for us to understand the pc only understands zeros and one so we have to give the commands we have to explain the pc how to work on it and it's quite tough thanks to our forefathers that they did the hard part for us and we, we don't have to invent a thing we have to understand what they did and that is why we study these topics like computer architecture so let's go ahead and see how they did that data is can be represented in two forms fixed point representation and floating point representation fixed point by data i mean everything everything like string integers everything and floating point has some extra features like we can uh, you know represent more data however fixed point uh, limits your data representation capacity so it has a limited range of values and if we are dealing with integers we have one signed bit which denotes the positiveness or negativeness of a number so the, if the signed bit is zero then it is the number is positive if it is one then the integer is negative so what happens is we all know how to take a carry how to take while in adding something or how to take a borrow or what to give like if, if, if the output is negative how to represent it how to write it but the computer doesn't know anything we have to explain it to it so there are this this is a chart which which will explain a computer how to work like this is the same thing what we do but we do very fast and that's why we don't know the steps we just do it so these are the steps which actually undergo in our mind also so here's uh, eight examples like eight possibilities first for our addition last for our subtraction so i'll take two or three cases and you can understand the rest of them by pausing the video just think about it so let's take addition of two positive numbers so this is also positive and this is also positive then we only have to add stuff we don't have to subtract anything because the addition of two uh, positive numbers will only result in addition so we don't have to subtract anything we don't have to worry about this so simply we will add it and the output would be positive what if the second number is negative the first number is positive and the second number is negative so we don't we can't just add a and b we have to subtract it and give a positive sign so if a is greater than b the, in that case will subtract b from a so a minus b but if a is less than b then we'll do we'll subtract a from b and the output would be negative so we'll have to get negative again because you know if if we do like uh, it is minus if a is 2 and b is minus 3 like 2 plus minus 3 then we'll have to subtract 2 from 3 which will be 1 and then add negative sign to it so this is what we do if a is less than b we do it very fast so and we don't know the step but this is the actual step and pc should know each step step because it works in step and it doesn't have its mind on its own so we'll have to explain this step to it and if a equal to b then of course we'll subtract a minus b and give a positive sign same is the case with all these so you, you just give some time to it and work on it okay so let's move on so how to add or subtract two numbers sign numbers so basically bs and as are nothing but sign bits this is a register this is b register so the content of a register the data is inside it and this as contains the sign so b is there suppose uh, the b is negative suppose uh, yeah if a number is negative then if we remove the sign bit we can use a complement of it to denote the sign uh, to denote the negativeness of a number so whenever b is negative we have to go through the complementer and a will go to the parallel parallel adder it will add with the b and will give the output if there is any overflow in ma while making a complement of b we'll store it in avf avf is nothing but it's an overflow flip flop which 
contain a bit if there is any overflow. You can see that if, if uh, you go through the examples. Don't worry now. This is this is simply a, a hardware structure, and the output would be given out, and there will be a E which will hold the carry if there is any output. So there's a one mode control which will manage these stuff, what to do and what not to do. So don't worry. We'll come to the flowchart. Flowchart is very, it looks tough, but it is, it is very systematic and easy. You can understand it directly. You don't have to just learn it. You just understand it. That's the best way to remember things. So suppose we are given a sub, uh, addition operation, right? So we'll keep the first part that is called augment in A and the second part, which is add in in B. And then we'll compare the sign bits of A and B. So this, the circle, the plus inside a circle you see is nothing but an XOR gate. So what happens is if uh, the both signs are same, then we, uh, the output would be zero. So if it is zero, then both the signs are same and we'll have to do A plus B simply. Like if, if uh, you know, if AS and BS are same, like both positive, then we'll just add it and give the output. If both are negative, minus and minus, minus two and minus three, again, we'll have to add it two and three, that is five, and add a negative to it. So we don't worry about uh, the final where to put AS, just go through it. So if AS and BS are, have different signs, then we'll move on to this part, okay? Similarly, if we are uh, going doing a subtraction operation, the first part will be in A and second part in B. If the AS and BS both have the different, uh, you know, different signs, then it will go to this part. So have you ever noticed like if you are doing a subtraction A minus B and B is also negative that A minus B minus B. So the whole thing would be actually a summation so it will go to the adding part. However, if we are adding two numbers and we have one uh, number which has a negative sign, we have to do the subtraction part. So basically this does addition and this does some uh, subtraction. And if we have a different sign problems, then we go according to the sign and we make a XOR of it. So let me go through a systematic way. Okay, I've explained you how, how this part works and this part works this exo part now let's uh, you know move linearly so I've made this flow chart and we'll see an example so basically when we have a operation like a minus B so a would be stored in the menu end and B would be stored in the subtract so first of all we'll check the sign bits so let us take an example of uh, let a be 2 and B equal to 1 so it would be written like 010 and 001. So we have to do this binary subtraction. Now, since we have to check the sign bits first, so sign bits are same. So we'll stay in this section only. If, uh, if the sign bits were different, we'd, we'd have to go to this section. So no worries, we have the sign bits same. So we'll move to this section only. Now, first of all, we'll add a to the b complement plus one so basically this part is nothing but the negative of b this would be equal to minus b so the b bar would be basically the uh, inversion of the binary digits so it would be one one zero and if we add one to it we'll have one 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 and now we have to add both these because a plus b bar plus one so this is b bar plus one and this is a 0 1 0 so when we add it so we'll have 0 1 0 like 1 0 0 and we'll have 1 in E E basically have the carry part so since E is equal to 1 so we'll move to this part so you can see the flowchart is very systematic you have to check each and every value at every step so now we check if A is good so since A is greater than B that means uh, we have this a larger number so there would be an overflow. Of course, there would be an uh, carry. So if ca there's, there's any carry, that means A is greater than equal to B. And then we check if A is zero or not. So A is not zero. We can see it is zero, zero, one. So the sign bit would be zero. Okay. And 
when the result is stored in A. So basically we were doing this operation in EA. So there would be this would be stored in E and this would be stored in A. So A would contain now the value of 0, 1. So we can know, we know we also we can verify it like this is 2 and this is 1. So 2 minus 1 equal to 1 and this is our result. So it, it proves that this whole uh, flowchart is correct. And had it been a lower number like if, if it were like you can see you can say it was 1 minus 2 then we'd have to go this way since a is less than b so the result would be of course stored in a only but the it would be a complement so it would be a negative so we'll have to again complement the whole answer and change the sign also because since a is less than b so the answer would be negative so this is how we will do it and this is the addition part addition part is quite simple we just add both those binary numbers and we'll store the overflow in e i mean the carry would be also be stored and will the result would be in finally in a and as so you can go through some examples if you want and it is quite easy the main problem comes with the multiplication and division part so that's all so I guess this uh, example would have given you a clear idea of how this flowchart works. I know it is a bit complex but if you keep on practicing you'll get a clear idea of it and you'll even remember this. So if you're preparing for any written exam like if you're having a university exam or something this flowchart is very important. You can get extra marks and it is very impressive if you draw this and don't just learn it you, you understand it right you just go through the example again and again. And thanks for watching. That's all for now. Coming up next is a video on computer arithmetic binary multiplication. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks. Have a nice day.